Hello everyone, today we'll be discussing the Acapella Fest and Queer Awareness Month. Stay with us! Welcome to this edition of LTV News. I'm Kirsten Newkirk. And I'm Catherine Horiatis. Let's get started. TCNJ Student Center was ringing with music last Friday night, but not from the usual band or soloist. The school's a cappella groups were on hand to perform in the annual a cappella fest, one of two major showcases of the entirety of the TCNJ a cappella community. A cappella involves singing without being accompanied by instruments, and each of TCNJ's four groups put a unique spin on the genre. By the time the show began at 8.30 p.m., every seat in the student center had been filled with a crowd of students standing in the back. The first group to perform was the Troublemakers, TCNJ's all-female a cappella group. The Troublemakers put a unique, a feminist tw twist on each song in their unique set list, including the 2002 cult hit Dreaming of You by The Coral. Up next were the Trentones, who performed a polished and diverse set, including an upbeat rendition of Valerie by Mark Ronson featuring Amy Winehouse. After a brief intermission, TCNJ's Christian a cappella group, Voice of Hope, performed a three-song set featuring the inspiring Touch the Sky by Hillsong United. Closing out the night was iTunes, who ended their set with a stirring Coldplay medley featuring hits such as Viva La Vida and Fix You. The next major showcases of the four groups will be at Acapulusa on October 23rd, which starts at 8 o'clock p.m. in the Maya Concert Hall. Last week, All College Theatre, TCNJ's straight play company, performed the production of Oscar Wilde's famous show, The Importance of Being Earnest. Starring stage veterans Matthew Stoner and Steve Munoz, the cast and staff had only about a month to rehearse. The hilarious play featured British accents, intricate costumes, and flamboyant personalities. The story follows two young men who both make up having a fake brother as an excuse to spend time with the women they love and they must dig themselves out of lies to win their ladies' hands. Held in the intimate black box theater, the audience was packed at each performance. The Importance of Being Earnest was the first all college theater play in several years to sell out multiple performances. If you missed the show, don't worry. All college theater will be hosting an evening of one acts, written and performed by students, later in this semester. Or check out TCNJ Musical Theater's production of Godspell, coming to the black box this November. And now we will hear from Ellie Shuckman, who met with Soledad O'Brien before her lecture at the college. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak. My pleasure. Today. Now, your newer project, Starfish Media Group, mm -hmm. um, and it really has an emphasis on reporting these real stories that have a genuine authenticity to them. Was that um, something that just kind of sparked your interest and you kind of always wanted to do, or how did that idea really... Smart. I think it came out of doing documentaries for okay. CNN for so long. When I left, I'd done about 35 documentaries, and I, I loved the authentic story. And even covering breaking news, you know, Katrina, for example, right? You're sort of in the middle of something unfolding, and your job is to find that true voice of someone who's experiencing someone and tell their story. So I really think it was a thing that I, that I, um, that I loved. I just love telling, you know, real stories about issues that are sometimes uncomfortable. All right. Now you've also been known for really. Hang on, they're giving us that, oh, oh, that one. Oh, okay. Oh, we got to get right. That's too short. Okay. So, <laughs> who's next? We'll do a quick round robin. So on Monday, you just started the uh, I Am Latino in America tour in Florida. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it's been amazing. Uh, and you don't care where I look, so so they can use this on camera. I'm gonna yeah. kind of look this way. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. Um, it's been amazing. It's been um, busy. <laughs> we are on the road. We launched it at Florida International University. And I think the timing is right because you have a political season that has um, covered a lot of issues that involve, obviously, Latinos. And, and it's also just interesting to talk about many of the other issues that aren't making the press. I mean, immigration does, but really all the other issues around the economy, education, uh, voting, things that I think Latinos really care about often don't get much coverage. So we thought it was a great time to have that conversation as we really look toward 2016 um, but really talk about the things that I think, you know, matter if, you're, if you've got a Latino agenda, if you can call it that, when you're talking about people from 21 different countries. Thanks, Sally. Let's get back to the remainder of our discussions. The Visiting Writer Series is an ongoing effort by Inc., TCNJ's creative writing club, to bring a wide variety of esteemed and accomplished writers to the College of New Jersey. The next of these events will take place today, October 7th at 5.30 p.m. Poet Michael Dickman will be giving a free reading of his poems, including those in his latest book, Flies, in the Library Auditorium. 
Dickman is known for dealing with dark subject matter in his poems, including death, which is constantly present in the pages of his latest book. The reading will give TCNG students the opportunity to experience the work of an artist, acclaimed by publications ranging from the New Yorker to the New York Times. The event is free of charge for students at the college and will include refreshments, while Dickman's book will be available for purchase in the following days at TCNJ's Barnes & Noble. Be sure to pick up a copy of his book and take advantage of what Inc. has to offer. The start of October doesn't just mean fall weather and Halloween. It's the start of Queer Awareness Month. PRISM, TCNJ's Queer Straight Alliance organization, has planned events throughout the month to celebrate this annual event. The festivities kicked off October 1st with the 6th Annual Queer Ball, a fun formal dance. On the 6th and the 8th, there will be the coming out monologues, in which TCNJ students tell the hilarious or hope-waking stories of their personal coming out experiences. Later in the month, famous transgender slam poet Kit Yan will uh, come to campus and pre perform his show titled Queer Heartache. October 22nd holds a vigil for those we have lost to pains regarding queer bullying or stigma. And on the 28th, TCNJ will conduct a challenging biphobia workshop led by activist Robin Oakes. The month will close with Big Gay Bingo, a new spin on a TCNJ favorite. All of these events are free and open to all students. For more information about each event, Queer Awareness Month, or the PRISM Club, check out the PRISM at TCNJ Facebook page or one of the rainbow-colored posters across campus. Well, that's all we have this week on LTV News. If you'd like to join L Lions Television, email us at ltv at tcnj.edu or like us on Facebook. For all of us here at Lions Television, I'm Katherine Horiatis. And I'm Kirsten Newkirk. We'll see you next week.